Any minute there's a little ooh ah pop in the coffee Liberace, I love you Take a piece, take a plum, piece of gum, no peach, no plum, no piece of sub I don't grant it, no I don't loan, what, 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 where did that come in? I don't grant, I don't loan, super sonic I, I, I just can't stop thinking about it The idle loan has money left in it for all those people out there And they're pulling it from the idle grant what? Guys, if you guys are into small businesses and want to know more about that money that's out there How you can get it, idle grants, idle loans, small business loans, small business grants, things like that let me know, like, subscribe, click that notification so when I get this information out, you can get the information in. And can somebody say, hey, I want my 10K. We still want our 10K. Now, what's up with that idle loan money? Yo, man, I got to go into my Buffalo stance. We all stand, stand in, in our buffalo, buffalo stance. Hey, hey, no, 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 no speak. Let's get the business, man. Okay, enough, enough What's of that. What's he doing? Guys and girls, it's good to see everybody out there. We're getting mega subscribers out there coming along left and right right now, jumping into the Speak and See program and getting small businesses, grants, and loans. It is a pleasure to have you. It is an honor to service you all, the small business community, and give you all these informative updates and places to go and find money in places they're giving out money right now they're loaning money they're lending money they're giving grants etc etc to expand small businesses and all those out there that are in need of funds at this moment and a lot of you out there are still in the idle loan program trying to get a, a loan funded to you from the idle COVID-19 loans that they were given out that they said they ran out of money with well it's not true they never ran out of money Isabel Guzman pulled that money back and I'm going to go over an article that just popped up Last night, late night on the Business Journal, Andy Medici, the senior reporter of the Playbook, and they happy, he put it up last night, and I'm going to go over it to let you know that idle loans are still being approved out there. I see people all the time in my comments, look, I just got my idle loan. Look, I just got my idle loan. And I see more people than not saying, they de they denied me. They're, they're saying there's no more money. They're saying there's no more money. Well, guess what? There is more money. Let's go over this article. This will give you more information, more clarity as to where the idle program is at. Once again, a shout out to Andy Medici over at the Playbook and the Business Journal. The SBA's idle program has billions left to lend. A group of senators want the agency to do more. The Small Business Administration needs to approve all COVID economic injury disaster loans submitted by the agency's May 6th deadline, a group of bipartisan senators wrote in a letter to the SBA on July 15th. Notice, guys, it was July 15th that this letter was written, and it's a pretty much a clear clarification that it's still in the mines. It's still there and there is still money. So let me just keep going with this. The letter signed by Senators Ben Cardin, Chairman of the Small Business Entrepreneurship Committee, Cornyn, Texas, Ben Holland, Wicker, Leader Majority, Chuck Schumer even signed this. Chucky e. got on board. He's the Senate leader in New York and 43 other senators comes after complaints from small businesses that they made the deadline, but they largely have been ignored by the SBA. And once again, there's Schumer jumping in, and he always jumps in right before the elections. Other than that, phew, not a whiff. Right before the elections, small business, small business, small business, small business. It's kind of, it, it's like that with that, and the small businesses are starting to get, to get a picture of what's really going on here, and uh, I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it's for votes, or do you think they really care about you? Anyway, whatever you think, let me know down there below, and we'll continue with this article. What do you think? How much money is left for idle lending? The senators say the agency still has billions of dollars left in lending authority. Billions, billions, billions. While we recognize the agency has assisted the unprecedented number of small businesses throughout the pandemic, our office continues to hear from thousands of prospective borrowers awaiting consideration. Thousands of borrowers awaiting consideration. The senators wrote, we also continue to hear from idle applicants with disputed rejections who have received no communication from the administration in months. Idle was a lifeline for businesses throughout the pandemic, but many of them continue to struggle. The program is too important to shut down prematurely. While funds remain, we expect the SBA to process all eligible applications and appeals that have been submitted by the request deadline. They've been saying that now for a while. They do still expect the SBA to handle a lot of those appeals and processes that are out there. So hopefully this letter finds Isabel Guzman on a good day. Isabel is, is like this great day horrible month great day horrible three months she's kind of a bittersweet administrator for the sba i i, I kind of sometimes i love her sometimes i most of the time i don't what do you think about it so if the program is too important to shut down prematurely in which she did 
Didn't you? Yes, you did, Isabel. Tell them. Tell them what you did. Oh, you don't need to tell us. We know. Uh, while funds remain, we expect the SBA to process all eligible applications, appeals that have been submitted by the request deadline. Senators, business upset about handling idle deadline. The bipartisan show of support comes after the SBA's popular COVID-19 relief program abruptly ran out of funds on May 5th, a day before it had stated it was the final deadline to get all requests for loan increases and reconsiderations in. So is anybody upset about this? Senators, businesses upset about handling idle deadline. <laughs> yep, thought so. Senators, businesses upset about handling the idle deadline. The bipartisan show of support comes after the SBA's popular COVID-19 relief program abruptly ran out of funds on May 5th, a day before it had stated it was the final deadline to get all requests for loan increases and reconsiderations in. Senators Ben Cardin, Chairman of the Senate Committee, Businesses and Entrepreneurship, and Chris Van Hollen, Chairman of the Senate Appropriate Subcommittee of Financial Services and General Government, said in May a 6th letter to the Administrator Guzman that the SBA should use transfer authority to direct more money into the idle in order to fund more loans and stated they were disappointed the agency decided to close the program down instead. I've done videos on that. That happened a long time ago, but yes, they told Isabel to Guzman to transfer the funds over. Isabel didn't do that. Isabel did something different, which we're going to find out right now. And I told you about what she did. We all know what she did. And they really haven't held her accountable yet. But in a House Small Business Committee hearing, May 18th, Patrick Kelly, Associate Administrator at the SBA's Office of Capital Access, said all completed applications that got in before May 6th deadline would end up being funded. I saw that. We showed that on the channel, and I all of our a lot of comments down below ended up saying, "What's he talking about? We're not getting funded." And if you're not getting funded, I know you're not getting funded because I'm getting emails left and right as well saying they're not getting funded. What's going on here? Let me read on further, and I'll tell you. But emails from small business owners to the playbook show many have been left hanging after the May deadline. They're getting it too. Everybody's getting it. The playbook, the biz journal, every note in, in our channel, in Jason McElhome's channel over there at trysmallbiz.com. Everybody knows that what Pat, what Patrick Kelly said wasn't true. It wasn't transparent is their favorite word. They were not being honest. Emails from small business owners to the playbook show. We could also put in over there t t emails to Jason McElhome, emails to Speak and See, emails to the playbook, emails to the rest of the world, emails to the SBA that they're not telling anybody about. Show many have been left hanging after that May deadline with emails and calls going unreturned or with a sudden rejections despite having a completed application. Several have taken issue with Kelly's comments saying they completed their applications but have not been able to get any loans funded. Any of you out there in that in that little uh, circle? My grandmother say that oh, they're ready to open up a can of worms on you. The SBA stands on idle applications. The SBA said it would process all workable applications, but the senators said they found it troubling that the SBA has said it won't complete applications due to an exhaustion of funds. They lied. Even though $800 million in loan subsidy remains, which would translate to about $7 billion in new loans. $7 billion, $7 billion, billion, in, loans, 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 $7 billion, billion in loans. loans. Given that many applicants have not received final consideration, we find it difficult to understand the SBA's decision to stop processing requests that were submitted by May 6th submission deadline. Workability is not an acceptable standard to justify rejecting a borrower who is eligible and in need. The bar for denial is eligibility, not SBA's willingness to continue processing applications. Isabel, take notes. Get that memo. You know what you're supposed to do and allowed to do, but you know what you're not. Oh, once again, we need more deferment on these loans so that we can try to get some of it forgiven would be great. So Isabel, take notes. The senators said that they expect SBA to provide denied applicants a specific, unambiguous explanation for its decision. <laughs> yeah, right. Anybody ever get any kind of uh, ambiguous explanation for the a specific, ambiguous explanation? Have you? There was none of that in their playbook of excuses. I can tell you that. We're sorry this application wasn't met because of unverifiable information. Click <laughs> to 10 million people. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Senators said that they expect SBA to provide denied applicants a specific unambiguous explanation for its decision. They stressed that the SBA still has work to do. Anything short of that does a disservice to the thousands of business owners who have been led to believe that they have done everything right, only to be told that their application cannot be processed because the program has closed. <laughs> That's a great excuse. Funds are dispersed. No more funds. 
Unverifiable information. Anything else? Nope. Anything short of that does a disservice to thousands of business owners who have been led to believe that they have done everything right, only to be told their application cannot be processed because the program is closed, the senators wrote. The SBA's communication with borrowers has not met our expectation and has undermined public faith in the agency. Has it undermined your public faith to the agency? If it has, let me know down below. Honestly, if I was going to rate them on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give the SBA... If I was to rate the SBA on a scale from 0 to 10... Okay, if I was going to rate the SBA on a scale from negative 10 to 10, I would rate... I would give the SBA an amazing rating. Uh, okay, if I was going to rate the SBA on a scale from negative 100 to 10, I would give them an awesome rating of <laughs> undermine public faith in the agency. Lawmakers in the SBA's idle program. Lawmakers have trained their sights on the hectic and at times chaotic nature of the program's shutdown. Republican lawmakers said in May 17th letter to the SBA administrator Isabel Guzman that it was common to hear the program had been a black hole when it comes to communication and that business owners stuck in backlogs were unable to get basic questions answered before the SBA had said it exhausted funding in the program. It's not the first time lawmakers have criticized the idle program. Who out there, including you, maybe you, maybe another person watching, a lot of people watch the channel, so who out there had gotten clarity, transparency, and information that they needed to have from the SBA? Or was it a black hole of information where you were just kind of throwing your application out there and just hoping and praying somebody who knows what they're doing gets it? Let me know what you think down below. How many businesses got idle loans? Data obtained from the playbook through a Freedom of Information Act request shows the SBA received more than 21.1 million applications for the program before ultimately approving 3.9 million. The number of small business owners that appealed their initial rejection was even lower, with the SBA ultimately accepting about 761,000 reconsideration requests and approving just 162,000 for roughly 21.6 billion in loan funding. Guzman said in a recent congressional hearing that the agency was planning on pivoting from dispensing COVID-19 loans to servicing them. Which is exactly what she did. She didn't say that the agency was planning on it. The agency was doing it. She took the funds out of the loan program and put it into a, uh, a servicing program where they're going to service the loans that they gave out and not give any more of the money to the people asking for it. So that's what happened here, but I'm going to read on so you'll know, and now you're going to be informed more than you were before you clicked play on my video. And thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. The agency's budget request for fiscal 2023 includes shifting 320 million in funds initially appropriated for the $10,000 targeted idle advance cash grant for small business owners to maintaining and servicing the millions of idle loans it has made over the last two years. The agency also extended the deferment payment on the auto loans in March 22 and a total to 30 months. It had spent the months leading up to the closure of the program, urging small businesses to apply as soon as they were able and not wait. They're deferring the idle loans. First of all, if they're deferring the idle loans, it's probably because one, uh, public outrage, w people go, might go crazy that they're having to pay this back already when we're, we're clearly not out of the weeds on this. Two, if she turned, if she took 320 million and put it into to a servicing program, and that program is not ready, they defer it because they wouldn't be able to start accepting all those loans, you know, receiving all that money yet anyway. So they're not ready for that. Three, it also says that they took it from the targeted idle advanced cash grant. That's like the uh, the petty cash slush fund that the the SBA uses when it needs money because it didn't give the 10 people the $10,000 grants that they were promised in the CARES Act and afterwards as well because of the stupid policy map. So with that statement right here that we're reading, appropriated 10,000 of the idle grant cash funds for small business maintain, to maintaining and servicing, then it goes into saying to deferment because she wants to start servicing and not and handing, out, handing out loans. She's taking, it's all idle grant money and loan money that they're taking that was made, made for small businesses that their people are not getting, that small businesses did not get. I, I, how do you feel about this? I mean, I don't want to go into, I don't want to get too, how do you feel about this? Leave a comment down below. <sighs> seven, Blood pressure. Go back down. Go back down. Oh, there we are. Okay. Let's move on. 
Will there be another small business COVID-19 relief program? Who cares? Will there be another COVID-19 relief program? COVID-19 is over. It did enough already, don't we think? Who cares if there's another COVID-19 program? Really, make normal programs, not COVID-19 programs. If you're gonna give out grants, give out grants, but do it in a more systematic way, in a more transparent way to get these small businesses funded the way they, they need to be funded. This COVID-19 idle relief program, get rid of it. Get rid of the SBA, totally. After what, seeing what they've done, how they've handled this, and how Congress and the Senate can't control, can't control this beast, get rid of them. But that's just my thought, because I'm a little upset about that last paragraph I read. I don't know. What do you think? Will there be another small business COVID-19 relief program? Cardin recently introduced the Hard Hit Small Business Relief Fund Act, which would transfer remaining funds from the SBA's COVID-19 relief programs. So we're making a new COVID-19 program, but we're taking the money away from the COVID-19 relief program that people didn't get, which would transfer remaining funds from the SBA's COVID-19 relief programs and make grants eligible to small businesses hurt by the pandemic. The relief funding would total about $6 billion, which they already have in there. They just don't know where to put it instead of just giving it to the people who really needed it. The relief funding would total about $6 billion. The new bill is substantially less than the $48 billion package that the Senate voted on in May. That legislation, which got 52 votes but needed 60 votes to overcome potential filibuster, would have fully funded the SBA's popular restaurant revitalization fund and provided billions of more grants and in small business in specific industries. Right. Now... Will there be another 19 COVID-19 relief program? I doubt it. I doubt it. The hard hit small business funds. Yeah, that, that could happen. But what I was reading today, what I saw today, and I'm going to share with you. We must make our small businesses and large businesses in the U.S. the most competitive in the world. Uh, we need to adamantly oppose any tax increases and make the 2017 tax cuts permanent, which will have great positive effect and predictability for small businesses. Um, and we also need to uh, end uh, much of the excessive spending uh, that has attributed to soaring inflation. So uh, I will uh, end by just being clear, continued reckless inflationary spending in Washington, increasing taxes and regulations will not support small businesses in their efforts to expand and export. I yield back, Madam Chair. And that's it. Thank you. The gentleman so yields back. With that said, no, I don't. I don't see any more COVID nineteen idle uh, bills coming out in order for COVID nineteen grants and loans. I see regular grants and loans coming out. Yes, we can look forward to that that type of thing. And the American Rescue Plan Act still has a lot of money. I believe it's like eight billion, maybe twenty eight billion. I'm sorry, dollars in it that they're putting out to individual states for grants and loans, which we are going over a lot of on this channel and directing them like the nine states, the 980 million for nine states video that I put out yesterday from the American Rescue Plan Act. So there's gonna be more of that coming into those states that didn't, weren't included in the nine. All states are included in it, but when they get it in, in place is determining on when, when that state puts programs in place and organizations in place to dish the money out. So nine states have already put programs in place and are ready to dish the money out and are gonna be getting the funds now. So let me know where you're at and how, where, what area you're in, and we will find out in particular if there's any more money or grants going into that particular area. Don't reply to any spam comments or hackers, hacker this, Instagram this, but just to give you an update on what is going on right now in Congress and in the Senate about these idle loan programs, here you go to you small businesses who need this information and uh, depend on those funds. Don't shoot the messenger, at least you got a messenger, right? That's gonna give it to you up front, that's gonna give you straightforward with you and let you know what's going on. So hopefully this does help you and settle a few things and what's going on out there and you can continue to move forward and hopefully we can get more information and get it out to you and so you can grab it and use it to prosper and move your businesses forward. Amen. Guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, click that notification button. I know it, 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 it's, it could cost you if you don't, but thanks for watching guys. And can somebody say, Hey, I still want my 10K. Yeah.